The zygomatic bone, also known as the cheekbone, is a bone of the face. It forms part of the inferior and lateral borders of the orbit, and it is very close to the skin. So there's a little adipose or other uh, connective tissue covering it, so it's very easy to palpate. It helps to form the zygomatic arch for jaw muscles. And so the zygomatic arch is made of the zygomatic bone and the zygomatic process of the temporal bone, which contacts it. The first reptiles lacked uh, this zygomatic arch. So they were what were called anapsids. They were missing a hole for these jaw muscles. As a result, jaw muscles were short and the bite could not be very powerful. The ancestors of mammals and mammals are defined as synapsids. They possess this hole, the synapsid opening, uh, which uh, is bordered by the zygomatic bone and the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. And so the synapsid uh, group, which includes mammals and their reptilian ancestors, are defined by uh, this opening. The contact between the zygomatic bone and the frontal bone to form the post-orbital bar, which completely surrounds the lateral portion of the orbit with bone. This is one of the defining features of primates. The earliest mammals reorganized their skull and in the process lost a few bones that ancestral reptiles had had. And so the first mammals lacked a post-orbital bar. And perhaps because early mammals were likely to be small and nocturnal, it's thought that their eyes were not that prominent and perhaps this wasn't as important. But later, several groups of mammals uh, once again evolved a post-orbital bar as the zygomatic bone contacted the frontal bone, uh, such as uh, camels and horses. So today there are groups of mammals which lack a post-orbital bar, some which have uh, a close association of the zygomatic bone and the frontal, so they almost have a post-orbital bar. But the first primates, as they started to use their eyes more, evolved greater protection for the eye. And so the presence of a post-orbital bar was one of the defining features of the first primates and a feature that all primates share. And it allowed them to uh, place more and more emphasis on vision and an ever enlarging eye which was becoming more complex.